I'm Peter from Third Afternoon Uncut. Today I'm going to be looking at a Samic Squall. Um, the Squall, I think, came around at least 15 odd years ago, maybe a bit more. So I think this is about 15 years old. But strangely enough, I looked on the internet um, this morning and they're still available in various parts of the world. New, apparently in stock. Um, I think they stopped making these quite a few years ago. So this is the school, it is uh, Samix, um, what they refer to as their custom bow range back in the day. Uh, so it's a 60 inch uh, recurve. This one is uh, 50 at 28. There's a Samix school. Yeah. Um, beautiful, uh, hang on, I've got it written down here. Uh, Rosewood and Walnut Riser. I think it's about a 17 inch riser. If you look at those glue lines, they are absolutely pretty cool. There's, there's no there's no gaps or anything there. Uh, felt pads on the limb, po limb pockets, bolt down. Um, it's got another, an extra peg there. Uh, this, looking at this, I'm going to say this string is mostly 15 plus years old. Um, I'll put some wax on it to make it look a little bit better. Anyway, so uh, the limbs are, so I've written down, is um, hard, ma hard maple veneer um, with hickory core and clear glass limbs. I, c I can find anything on the internet for the Samic school. Samic don't have anything on their backlog uh, of their old bows. But my, my mate's had this for four, fifteen, sixteen 16 years, something like that. So I'm just going to shoot a load of arrows uh, out the corner. I may or may not come to 28 inches. I'm, I'm going to try and get to about, that's about the 20, hold on. Oh, first things first. This, this brace on is between seven and seven three quarters, according to the internet. This is dead on seven. Scales, I'll do best of three. So I've got that set at... Uh, got that set at 28. Uh, apparently they're fast flight compatible. Apparently it came with a Dynaflight uh, 97 string. I don't know whether this is. So. And that is 45 pounds there. Eh? It's always best of three. Very, very smooth 45 pounds. Well managed 46 that time. Last time. Forty-six, forty-six and a half. Right. I figured it would be a little bit light, um, so I did weigh earlier on, and I got forty-seven earlier on. So anyway, so I uh, forty-seven. Your minimum weight. I'm going with eight grains per pound because it's a custom bow, effectively. Well, although it's a factory custom bow, um, it's uh, three hundred seventy-six grains, uh, and, and the light side I'm shooting is three hundred eighty-five. <coughs> My oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you where I need to be at 28. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure this was uh, this is you know, back in the days, mostly tin for split, uh, but the knocking point is a little bit high, so I'm going to shoot three under. So, I really want to be. I will say, back to you, it's not, it's about there. So Calling around, it's mostly about, so I've mostly got a 27. I'm mostly, I've got to put it to about there. If I get past the mouth there, we're on a winner. That's, that's pretty good. To be honest, if I get it to there, I'm not shooting a second shot. Right, uh, selection of arrows. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Um, I've got to put that down there because I went back. It's got stung. Uh, so, starting off with uh, the heaviest. Now for ages I keep saying these are 765 grade total weight, they're 762, I weighed them yesterday, indoors, on the flat, in the no, wind about, 762, and I thought, oh crikey, I've been saying 765 for ages, and I looked at some old videos and I was weighing them 762 before, so anyway, then I double checked on my scales, the pile is 313, not 315, hence the, no, I'll be a couple of grains out, so the, the total weight is 3 grains out, 
if I get to 28 then we're all good so anyway this is um 250 spine 313 although when you buy them they'll be they'll say 315 on the packet but on my sales 313 150 insert um 250 spine <coughs> let's see what happens there So that's 27. That's pretty good. 130. Slightly stiff. 134 feet per second with a 762 grain arrow and a 46. 40, what did I get? I think 46 pound bow. And if I'm a little bit short, I'm only shooting pulling 45. No, so there you go. Right. Next one is another 250 spine. It's a new point. 300. These are actually 301 to 300. I can't remember. They, all the points I bought were all the same, but they're all like a grain out. Um, so 300 up front, uh, 100 grain uh, insert, so 400 up front. First one was 413. The total weight of this is, so this is 700 grains total weight. Out of 45 to 46 pound bucks, if I get to this. Right, so there, that's it. 137. I think I was only got to about there. I think it was about 27 and a half, but 137. Dead straight, but not quite. Uh, next one. I can't remember what's on there. This is a 340, 340 spine arrow. Right, so 150 insert, 300 pile ish, so 450, 451, or whatever it is up front. Uh, total weight of 710 grains. Okay. I definitely felt that was, it was past there, so now I'm going to just around that 28, and that's 139 feet per second. With a 710, 710 grain arrow. Next one is another 340 spine. 100 grain insert and 250 pile. So total weight of 608 grains. Right, here we go. So I'm, I'm getting to there and then just yanking. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 148 feet per second. With a 608 grain arrow on a 15 ish year old boat, maybe a bit more. 148. Right, next one is. Um, and that was. Stiff actually. Uh, this is a 400 spine, 150 insert, 250 pile, 649 total weight. Hundred and forty one feet per second. I think it was half inch short there. Hundred and forty one feet per second. Right. Another four hundred spine. And that was right. That was pretty straight. Um another four hundred spine, hundred grand inserts. Two hundred pile. Total weight of five five one. Okay, that's better. Stiff, stranger. 153 feet per second. In the advert, so I found an old um, Lancaster um, Archery advert, um, it stated it had a, an ergonomic slim grip, and it, it has. It's a low grip, but it's very well contoured, and the hang just is very positive. Uh, what else did it say? Oh, crown shelf as well, yeah. Right. Uh, 500 spine. <clears throat> It might be weak. 500 spine, and this is 150 uh, insert, 200 grain pile, so 350 up front, and a total weight of 572. Okay, that's pretty good. 
very, very, very weak. Um, yeah, 151 feet per second. So I should imagine you're, you're losing a lot because that's very, very weak there. But 151 feet per second, right? It should be slightly better because there's less weight there. 500 spine, uh, 100, 100 insert, 175 grain pole, and it's a total weight of 497. So you're still looking at 11 grains per pound. Only slightly weak. Uh, it's 159 feet per second. I got to the, sort of like the 27, 27 and a half and then yanked it back. So I've mostly got the 28 there. Close. Right. Last one. Because I'm only going down to the 8 grams per pound. Um, well, that's just uh, measured at 47 or so. Uh, so this is 500 spine. Standard alley insert, which I think is 14 grams from the top of my head. Uh, 171 gram pole. Total weight of 385. <coughs> I can get a genuine 28 out of it. Oh no, I'm going to shoot that again. I yanked that. 179. Oh, I didn't do any second shot. That was a really, really bad shot. Sorry. Now that said 179. Oh, come on. You know what, bro? Oh, 179 again. Oh, there you go. Right, so um, that was a 385 grain arrow. Out of a 45, 46 pound bow. Now, it's a really, I don't know whether this is the original Dino White string. Look at the state of it. It's, it's a very old Flemish string. It's obviously you see them second hand because I mean, I think they sold quite a lot of these back into that. And I also know that. They also made the ILF version. It's exactly because I've actually shot my mine's got one. Um, exactly the same rise with an ILF, but I can't remember if it's called the Pinnacle or something. Or something. Anyway, um, made by Samic. Um, so I've, I've, I've shot this handle left handed, and I know it's, it's a sweet handle. Uh, so my mate's been shooting this for years. It's, it's, it's a stunning bow, and apparently, if you look around, um, you can still buy them. So that's it from a field archery uncut.